You say. What's the thing you detest most about this modern age? What really bothers you? <clears throat> well, I suppose there's this blurred line song that's been playing everywhere. <laughs> I don't really care for it, and I don't understand it. <laughs> and it's a shame, because I, I was introduced to the work of Alan Thicke, and apparently he was a very remarkable man when it came to creating sitcoms. So, oh well. <laughs> <laughs> Your music is startling, I must say. There is so much noise, and there is so much pounding, and so much ethnicity in it, and I don't quite know what to make of it. <laughs> but it does seem to keep you out of the house, so it's doing that. As a follow-up to that, what's the greatest triumph of the modern age? The greatest triumph of the modern age is its variety, its, its energy and life, its eclecticism. There is so much of it. There is a danger of history being lost. And you must work hard not to lose sight of your history, lose sight of what matters and what has lent us strength throughout the age. But as far as the capacity for people to create and for people to reach out and find the creations of others. It is unparalleled. Many of you are, are carrying around little devices which are essentially pocket libraries of Alexandria. Think of it. Think of your ability to communicate, your ability to share thoughts and loves and ideas that culminate in, in things like this. <clears throat> People who I would never have known, I now do. I'm now able to share in their lives in ways I never was before. We are connected now through these tiny little strands, little lines invisible through the air. When I was alive, I made it a purpose to carry out correspondence, to keep correspondence as my priority, to answer letters that were sent to me and to send them out, to make introductions, to bring people together. I saw it as, well, as a duty. And now we live in an age of, of interconnection where people are able to share with one another remarkably, and it is, well, it is awe-inspiring. And I am very eager to see where it leads. And I want to thank you all for, for joining me here today. It has been remarkable having the opportunity to come home at last. But it's much better to not have to do it alone. I believe my associate will be uh, coming in to answer any questions you may have uh, regarding logistics of our programs and whatnot, but I want to thank you myself so much for making the effort to come out to this, for traveling so many miles. It is remarkable. Of all my creations, of everything I wrote and everything I put down, the community, the environment of creativity, the strangeness that has been bred in my absence, that is the legacy I could have hoped for. I could have never even dreamed of it. So thank you. Thank you all.